All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So a little bit busy of a day today, so I'm gonna do a quicker video than normal, but we'll still cover what we normally do. I'm not gonna have time to take us into the fireplace, but a couple interesting things going on. Tilray staying within the lines and really not losing the the 50 and the 100, right? I talked about these two lines a bunch on the last video. CGC, like a champion, continues to hold the 8 and the 20 moving average, right? I, I always talk about these two as a team, and, and this is teamwork at the best, right? We need to see what tomorrow does, but so far, so good, right? SNDL, okay, the craziest of craziest, I have to say, right? This morning was earnings. We're coming into the hourly chart, and you can see the first hour literally dumps down to here. It opens at 232. You can see it in the box, and I clicked really well, and then comes as low as down here to the 100, right? So, I mean, just the craziest of reactions, but a very, very nice recovery, and I'm curious to hear what you think. And then MSOS, also a nice technical move, you can see coming down to the 100 and going up, right? Most of them have now lost the complete candle of the DEA news, but hopefully we'll start to, to crawl it back up, right? So, um, that'll be what we cover today. I'm going to do it a little quicker, like I said, than usual. But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here and giving me your time is super, super appreciated, all right? So there are actually five minutes left. You can see we're almost at, at four o'clock Eastern, so you're gonna see percents moving. It just did. You might see the candles move. Um, like I said, I'm just a little crunch with time today. So look, Tilray. The one big difference here between MSOS, I think that's a that's an easy thing to see, right? MSOS has actually fallen below the DEA headline, right? Yesterday it opened just below it, right? Tilray not quite there. Tilray doing its best to definitely under 50%, don't get me wrong, but it's it, it's doing its best to hold as much as it can, right? A lot of it does have to do with the moving averages and a lot of it really is these two lines right now. Individually, these are very, very hard to break up individually they are very very hard to lose down when they're stacked it's that much harder to go up and that much harder to go down so it does make sense to me that they're holding but again i keep saying it there are too many moving averages too close to each other literally all five of them are are essentially a couple pennies away right and what does happen is sometimes you go from the bottom to the top to the bottom to the top and it just kind of throws you like a tornado, right? So the big, big thing on the last video, the big, big thing on this video, right? We need to get over 221 for me to believe. I will not touch Tilray until we get over this. I would be very, very worried if it falls below that, all right? Right now, I'm seeing a stock that's pretty much living at the mercy of the five lines it's kind of trapped at. Um, from there, volume has been a little weak, right? You can see we, we are supposed to be around 40 million. You can see the average 50 is around 37 million, right? We're, we're struggling to even hit 20, right? So volume's been tough the last couple days. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing too, too much I like here on the, on the daily. On the weekly, it's not that pretty a story either, right? We also have three moving averages here. Basically under most of them trying to get back over them. I think the 200 is going to be up there, right? Yeah, exactly right there. It's a little laggy. Sorry about that. But, um, you know, it tried to recover, it couldn't confirm so far, right? So hopefully we can get, look at that, 211. Maybe 211 would be an interesting consideration. Does that at least get us over? Yeah, 211 would be an interesting consideration. I think for me, I would rather wait that extra 10 cents, wait for that 221 to break. So like I said, a little bit of a rush review, but let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's go into CGC real quick. and. 
Um, this is an interesting candle. We have a couple minutes left till it closes, but so far I am seeing two important things, all right? The first one is this continues to stay with and hold and maintain the eight and the 20 moving average, all right? I definitely said, I don't wanna say I definitely said because that makes it sound like too much. I knew it, right? And that's not my game, but it really felt like once we lost half this candle, we were gonna come down, right? Once we lost the eight, it makes me obviously think we're gonna come down to the 20, right? And I'm glad we didn't have to think about the rest because again, since what, May? What is that? March. Wow, excuse me. Since March, middle of March, we've been above the lines and you've got to give the stock the benefit of the doubt, right? Like as easy as it was for me to essentially hate on the stock for most of it, right? Because it was just so far under the lines and so hard to prove it. This is now doing the opposite. This is doing very well over the lines and it's making me believe, right? So um, we definitely fell down. We definitely got caught. We need to confirm, okay? Am I ready to buy back into CGC? The answer is no. Trust me, I want to. And I think if we can get over that 1070 line, it looks like it's actually 1060. You can see in the eight moving averages at 1062. But yeah, give me 1070 and I think I'd be interested. I'll even set an alert. 1072, I'll take a couple pennies over that zero. Um, I, I, I would be interested because from there, yeah, I'm, I, I'd be expecting the 13 number, right? Because yeah, green, 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 red, 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 could be a good green, 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 green up, right? So we just got to see if we can get over the eight. It's definitely no assumption we're going to do it, but hey, I like the RSI. I like the positive MACD. I wish it was green over red on both. I'm actually still seeing red over green on both, right? You can see a smidge of red there, but um, volume's not bad, and look at that. CGC's at 16.8. Tilray's at 19.4. CGC's getting close to, to some Tilray level volumes right there. So um, that's a quick look at the daily. What's the weekly saying? Look, this weekly saying I'm still over the eight moving average. This weekly is giving us a golden cross of the 20 on the 50, right? Like we are still holding the eight like a champion on the weekly. And then this daily again, like I said, you, you just we are seeing it hold and bounce and go. It's not the prettiest, but it's been more than two months actually now, right? Uh, are we coming up on two months? I would, I would say we're coming up on two months, right? So I'm um, liking what I'm seeing and we're now in post-market, right? So let me just come to regular hours. Yeah, I like this. Did we close over this? We did. Nice. I would have loved to break a different candle, but look, this Wednesday, the 27th, closed at 9.55. Today, we did break that by actually 30 cents. It really seems like this wants 10.60 tomorrow. Um, let's see if we can get over that. Um, we'll go from there. Cool. I'm liking this. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's come into SNDL here. So the first question will be, what did you think of the earnings? I obviously didn't look. I actually didn't even see too, too many headlines. What I did see was what I started the video with, right? We were up here yesterday, this morning, we gap down here, we fall all the way down to 215 before making a really nice recovery, actually. It looks like this 20 moving average was just a little on the pesky side, right? But um, interesting to see the gap down and this day, and look, we don't see too many of these, but this is a good day. This is not a red fill in, it's a red open. And that means it opened down here at 230, but actually closed up here at 240. More people could have made money today than actually lost it, you know what I mean? So um, interesting day. I don't know if I need to worry about the fact that the wick almost came to the 20 and that was like, this one's hard and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna run around in a circle if I say anything else, right? Like. I think I need to see probably what Monday looks like. Cause again, I always assume Friday's like a weird loser day. It's kind of lower volumes and this and that, right? So I think Monday will be telling, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the earnings. Was it good? Um, did it say what you were expecting? Was there some stuff you didn't like? Again, let me know your thoughts, your opinions. I haven't really said much. I will very much say, I think everyone was expecting a gap up and the gap down was probably a little bit of a shock this morning. The recovery was lovely, but um, I still need to see more before I'm willing to believe. I think that's where I'll end it. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, and then let's take a look at high tide. Okay, nice. So with this morning when I saw it, it was still a doji, and I think it was actually a doji a couple cents above it. 
I obviously wished the back to back was a little better, but I'm glad we're actually just a penny over that 230 I called out on this video, right? So looks like the Godzilla eye might have been managed. Looks like it was maybe either sleeping or blinking when we went past it up. So I like that, but give me, I need two can, I need a confirmation here to believe, right? But hey, I'm gonna give us the benefit of the doubt. We're actually, like I said, still a penny over it. So. Um, hey, sorry for the quick review, but I have to run. I at least was glad to make something. Thank you. Thank you.